Union activists say the U.S. retail company The Gap is exploiting workers in Africa and South America. They held a news conference in Washington on Thursday. Daniel Marison, General Secretary of the Lesotho Clothing and Textile Workers Union, says some workers face physical abuse. One worker was uh, stabbed by a managing director uh, of uh, one factory in ENC uh, in March. And the manager was not arrested until we wrote letters of solidarity to Aquila Solidarity in Canada and Unite in the United States. However, GAP representatives say the company does not tolerate abuses of labor rights in any of its approved factories. Mr. Marisan complains the companies hired by the GAP to produce their clothing pay poverty wages. A worker earns less than $50 a month. Steve Weingarten, industrial director of the labor union Unite, says this compares to neighboring South African workers who earn this amount in a week. South American workers earn more than three times as much. However, when employees in El Salvador protested, the gap closed the factory down. The gap cares about one thing, their brand image, their markup, and their profits. He says overtime is mandatory and workers are not allowed to join unions, a violation of human rights, local laws, and gap policy for its subcontractors. Congresswoman Jan Sukowski says workers suffer harassment from the management and are often fired if they complain. We are calling on the GAP to pay its workers living wages, ensure decent working conditions, guarantee the right to organize and end the campaign of violence and intimidation. Members of Congress are demanding that the GAP make public the locations of all its factories worldwide so human and labor rights activists can monitor conditions. Congresswoman Lydia Velasquez. Educating the public is one of our best defenses against such labor abuses. And once that happens and companies like Nike and the GAP see shrinking profit margins and falling sales, it will hit them where it hurt the most, in their wallets. The Garment Consumers' Right to Know Act, now being considered by the U.S. Congress, will require garment producers to disclose who made their products, where they were made, under what conditions, and who stands to benefit from these contracts, and by how much. It will also allow employees legal recourse against American companies for violations of human rights and labor laws. GAP representatives say they already have 100 people working directly with factories, unions, and workers to improve conditions.